Hey guys, so we're going to learn how to use the refine edge tool and it's going to be a quicker way to cut out the background of an image. So on your Google Classroom, there are two pictures, um, one with a lady with her hair blowing in the wind and another one that's uh, labeled as spring background with a bunch of flowers, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make it like this lady and all of her wispy hairs uh, are going to be in that background with all of the flowers. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go with our quick selection tool and we're going to select all of the gray background as best we can. And it's okay if right now we don't get all of those little hairs because the next step that we're going to do is going to help us to do that. Okay, and then remember if you got too much of something and you want to get rid of it, uh, you can hold Alt to remove your selection. So once we've got something that's looking kind of like this, uh, then while you're still in your quick selection tool, I want you to look for a button on the top of your bar that says select and mask. So we're going to go ahead and click on that button there. And when we do that, we want to let Photoshop think about what it's doing. <laughs> it might take a moment for it to load, but that is okay. So once it loads, you're going to get a new uh, properties panel over here on the right. Uh, and you're going to get particular brushes that you can use over here on the left. So over here in our properties panel, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to change the view to overlay. So that way we can see better what it is that we're doing. So when we change it to overlay, um, what we're doing is we have an overlay color that's showing us everything that is not selected. So remember, we selected the gray background. Uh, so right now, the lady and all of her hair is what's not selected. So we're going to go in with the refine edge brush. So if you come over here to your brushes, it's the second one down. And if you click on that guy, what it's going to allow us to do is zoom in on all of those tiny little hairs. And if you click and drag onto them, you're going to notice that they start to turn red, right? So what we're doing is we're refining the edge of our selection to only get the parts that we actually want. That's kind of hard to get on our own with just the regular quick selection tool, right? So we're refining the edge of the gray area that we selected and we're deselecting all of her hair here. That's basically what we're doing. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna make all of her little baby hairs that are flying in the wind. I'm gonna try to make them all red, which is gonna take some time. And then if you have big areas of gray that kind of don't make any sense, uh, you can switch back and forth between the refine edge tool and your quick selection tool. So for example, I've got this big section over here. So I could go with my quick selection tool and hold alt. Sorry, I would just not hold alt. I would do regular click to deselect that guy. And then I can go in there with my refine edge tool and only get the hairs instead of all that gray background. So you might need to go back and forth in between your quick selection and your refine edge tool. Okay, so once you have an image that's looking like mine, where it looks like the lady and all of her hair are red, and you don't have any of the gray spaces in between the hairs selected, it's only the hairs, then you can go and press OK down here in the bottom right hand corner. And then once you do that, you're going to notice that the little marching ants are like way more detailed than they were when we just used our quick selection tool, right? So now what we need to do is invert this selection 
because remember we had the background selected. So if I were to add a layer mask with the background selected, then it actually deletes our lady, right? And that's not what we want. We want the opposite. So what I'm gonna do is invert my selection by doing control shift I. And then now you'll notice the marching ants only go around my lady. So if I add a layer mask to this, uh, now I have just this woman selected and none of that stuff in the background and none of her hair has any weird gray spaces in between it, right? So now I can use my move tool and all I have to do is drag this person into my spring background. Uh, and then I wanna do control T to make her larger. And then press enter. And now she looks like she belongs in the new background with all of the spring flowers, right? So that's how you use the refine edge tool to make a more refined uh, selection. So hopefully that's helpful with your uh, surrealist image.